Hello everybody, it's Brent once again, High Altitude Scale Modeling with another sprue review. Today we got a brand new release from Edward. The Superbug F18 Super Hornet Limited Edition. I love the artwork. Love the bee. It's almost like the scat pack bee on the Challengers and the Chargers. <laughs> Anyway, five schemes available. Beautiful looking schemes. Kit number 11129. On this side, it shows us the B again. And we get Hasegawa parts for the F 18E. Edward painting mask, photo etch exterior, interior, Carter F decals. Braz and ejection seat and wheels. Shall we see what this limited edition has to offer? Alright. Some stuff out of the way. Wow, big box. Definitely not overstuffed. Clear parts. One bag of sprues. Brazen, mask, instructions, photo etch, and decals. Gotta get it out of here. Here we go. So we got us one bag. One loose part in the bag. It's like part of the jet nozzle. Keep the bag in case there's more loose parts. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six sprues. I've never built Hasegawa's. F-18s, but I hear they're good. Is it supposed to be warped? You can see it's the sprues bowed. And you can see the bottom part of the fuselage is bowed a little bit. But another little glue won't take care of. Just have to keep an eye on it. So we have here the upper fuselage and the lower fuselage, halves, wonderfully detailed, there we go, wonderfully detailed landing gear bays, raised and recessed details, rivet detail, more recessed and rivet detail, there's your two part intakes which have many ejector pin marks, three each. Which are going to have to be cleaned up. There's your doors, which don't have ejector pin marks. Very nice. There's inside of some more of your doors with a very nice detail. And the instrument panel. One of the instrument panels. I'm sure there'll be more. Seeing as how this is a Hasegawa kit, I don't expect to find any weapons in here. But here's some wings, upper and lower wing halves. Again, nice recessed rivet detail. Positionable flaps and ailerons. Nice tabs for putting the wings in. So I highly recommend Buying an Edward weapons, or brass and weapons, unless you have the Hasegawa weapon sets. Make sure you're checking all these ejector pin marks in here. Test fitting to make sure everything fits nice. Same with all these. They look pretty sunken, but you just never know. You want a nice, good, nice tight fit. And I hear these Hasegawa kits are very good, so that shouldn't be a problem. Here we have the front of the fuselage. 
and the intake sides and the cockpit tub arrestor hook looks like gear bay doors electronic pod this is where the canopy is in the back as you can see this is a two person cockpit tub but a single seat aircraft so this is going to have this panel here that goes in here that goes over the second cockpit tub to make it a single seater again ejection pin ejector pin marks uh, maybe a little actually I don't see any burring on the round parts there there is a little bit on the arrestor hook <clears throat> sorry to reposition the light a little bit on the arrestor hook but again nice raised and recessed detail on the fuselage parts the wheels have no weight on them but there are brass and wheels included and another very nice landing gear bay here elevators rudders posable rudders on the tail section the landing gear front and rear or front and main depending on how you want to call it all looking good might want to drill out those lightning holes there is sorry some burring on the landing gear parts but nothing too extreme I'm just you might not even be able to see it so tiny color in your lights so very nice very crisp very clean you know Haskell kit's been around for a few years so I'm sure many of you have already built it here we have matching sprues with fuel tanks ejector seats pylons engines nozzles sorry first stage compressor this is the part that fell off oh, I'm missing the nozzle here which is here fell off but you can see it's got good detail inside and out it comes with a pilot figure and since there only needs to be one seat you're gonna have extra seats I did only see one instrument panel so they must have taken the other one out the sprue for that one but there's a pilot figure these are matching so we don't need to see them both again this one's a little bent too I wish I had the original Hasegawa kit so I could see if it was bent antennas door or sorry actuators pylons wheel hubs front wheel but again you won't need to use the wheels and there's no weight on them so that's a good thing ejector seat you won't need that but it's not badly detailed either you can see so you could build out of the box and have some nice detail and that's it for all the plastic like I said no weapons You have to dig into the spares box. Poly caps. Very nice clear parts, and I like the way they, like they molded it with these and these to protect them. Very good. Nice touch, but astonishingly clear. You really see that one because of the parts holding in place but very good made in Japan imported by Edward but we already knew that because Edward's good about saying that their plastic is from they don't try and hide it like some manufacturers all right 
let's zoom on in here and take a look at some of this resin which I'm sure will be top quality board resin parts usually is wheels hubs brake rotors so as you can see weight on wheels and the hubs with the brake calipers in them and the two front wheels also are slightly weighted and we move over to the ejection seat bag separately to protect it from mishaps so we have an outstandingly detailed ejector seat and the cushion for the bottom and uh, so it's a grab handle It doesn't look like a grab handle. Hmm. Maybe it's just a style of the seat. Or the photo etch will have a grab handle or two. Let me put all this away because I don't want the resin to get lost or broken. You just have to cut them off these blocks, just like with all resin parts. Nicely sealed back in the bag. And we've got PE. It shows the screens on. But not really, kind of in a powered down state it looks like. Like it's just returned on. And you put the pilot in. And you've got your seat belts, you've got your pull handles like I said, the side of the can <clears throat> canopy, your slime line indicators which you can paint, a couple of vents and then there's a little piece of uh, acetate in there for the heads up display and that's it, one piece of photo etch and your typical Edward masks which we all know and love. Let's zoom back out here a little bit because we've got fabulous super bug book instruction sheet so as usual start with sprue layout it's showing you some parts you're not going to use which is very few seats of course wheels of course that's about it, it's just showing you. And you're going to start, of course, with the cockpit. You only have one side of the cockpit to do. You have to fold up some PE, put them in there. Putting the seat together, sanding off the instrument panel to put on the dials. Putting the two eyes of fuselage together. Like I said, you're only doing half of the cockpit tub because it's a single seater. Wings on top of the fuselage, air intakes on the bottom of the fuselage. If you want them seamless you're going to have to work at it. Fuselage halves and the front going together. There's the PE for slime lines. You're supposed to remove some so I'm guessing there's some on. As you can see right here, that's what they want you to remove. Right here, if you're going to use the photo etch, your choice. Putting on the landing gear legs or some decals would go on there, so be aware of that after you paint, of course. And fortunately, you don't have to put the landing gear in when you put the halves together. Very nice. There's a decal that goes inside the nozzle. I don't think I've ever seen that. Hmm, interesting. And a very detailed guide in the position of the flaps down, flaps up, and the actuators, and the ailerons, and the gear when you get it unpainted, another slime line, this one doesn't look like you have to remove, you just attach it. Formation markings is another word for it, again more decals on the landing gear legs, be aware of that. More decals on the doors, 
be aware of that. And this says there's a missile. Did I miss it? Miss the missile? There is a missile. Look. There is a weapon in here. Two weapons. Sparrow and a sidewinder. Alright. I was wrong. There's your loadout pictures if you want to use four drop tanks, three drop tanks, or two drop tanks. Your masking, which you're going to have to fill in with masking liquid. And the position of your canopy, open or closed. Your call. And the final touches put on. There's a boarding ladder. Very nice touch. And there you go. <clears throat> now, I want to build this one. But I like the Tomcatters. But I want to build a shark's mouth hornet. I wonder if there's any um, over trees. I'm going to look into that. Edward sometimes sells over trees. We can just buy the kit without any of the extras. Then I can use the extra decals I have because you have decals for all five of these. But you can't build all five. And the gunslingers, which is kind of cool too. I like the little, almost looks like a leprechaun, but it's a skeleton. And the golden dragons. I'm not as fond of that one. Not that it's bad, it's just, it just reminds me of the Blue Angels, sort of. And the Sidewinders, which is also cool, got a nice snake on it. And the Tomcatters, which of course Felix the Cat, one of my favorites. It's not as colorful, but it's got cool markings. And your stencil data for the sides, and for the weapons, and for the pylons. And your stencil data is for the top. In the interior of the gear door, it's showing where they go. And here are some of the weapons you can order separately from Edward or your favorite hobby distributor. I bet high altitude hobbies can get a hold of these if you want them to. So, there we have it. No, we don't. We didn't look at the decals. That's why I have stuff I don't look at in one box and stuff I do look at in the other box. So let's stick this down here so it doesn't stick to the decals. You know, they're cartograph. They're going to be amazing, but we still want to look at them. There we go. Look at how beautiful they are. Look how close they're cut to the decal. No decal filming. There's some in the Navy, there's some in the numbers. But, you know, the Sidewinders. A beautiful shark's mouth. And golden dragons and tomcatters. And your stencil data. And you can use decals if you don't want to use the photo etch. And this does have screens off. So you can do that. Wow, so nice. Yep, gotta see if there's over trees, because I want to do, I mean, I really like that Gunslinger logo too. And it's going to require a lot of black painting, a lot of black painting, a lot of blue painting, a lot of red painting. Blue goes on that one, I'm pretty sure. Very nice, and you can read all those, of course, because they're cartograph. So there we have it. This time, there we have it. Beautiful, another beautiful limited edition. Go along with your limited edition tornado from last month. Did I do a review on that? I don't remember. I'll have to look. Anyway, super bug. Highly recommended. Something for to keep your ass in the seat so you can get some modeling going. You know you want to build it. Look at how nice that looks. Beautiful black. And look at at the color on the red. It's going to look so sexy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sit your ass in the seat, build a model, let me know how you're doing, and I'll talk to you soon.